China Evergrande's ever-growing debt has made headlines and sent stocks tumbling. So what is Evergrande, and why has it sent worldwide markets into such a tizzy? The Chinese property developer was founded in 1996 by businessman Hui Kaiyun. It made a name for itself, developing properties for mid- and high-income earners across China, taking advantage of rapid urbanization. Today, it has about 1,300 developments in more than 280 cities across China, making it one of the biggest real estate companies in one of the world's fastest-growing economies. The company IPO'd in 2009, and since then it's expanded fast and borrowed heavily. It added businesses including water bottling, a professional soccer team, and electric car making to its portfolio. Now it reportedly owes $300 billion, and some of that is coming due. Right now, Evergrande is struggling to scrape together money to pay those debts. In its quarterly earnings report in August, the company issued a stark warning that it might not be able to do it. It's taken out high interest loans from its own employees, and made some cash on pre-sold apartments. Now some projects have stalled, it's reportedly stopped paying back those loans from employees, and there are protests outside the company's headquarters. Chinese authorities warned banks that Evergrande wouldn't make debt payments that were due on Monday, and coupon payments on some of its bonds are due on Thursday. If the company collapses, the wreckage could seriously impact China's economy, hurting homeowners, investors, suppliers, banks, and more. There are even some U.S. companies with exposure. And panic from investors could impact property markets and the Chinese economy as a whole negatively, and shake confidence in Chinese investments. But China has been cracking down on reckless borrowing, raising questions about whether it would be willing to bail out the too-big-to-fail developer, although it apparently has enough cash to do so. Some investors feel that this could be a black swan event, like the Lehman Brothers collapse in 2008. Others say the sphere is overblown or indicates a misunderstanding of Chinese markets. Either way, tune in on TheRealDeal.com as this story unfolds.